Good morning, class. Today, we're going to practice using the simple future tense or future indefinite tense. I want each of you to share a topic or tell a story using only this tense. Let's start with you, Jesse. Choose any topic or story and remember to stick to the simple future tense. Good morning, everyone. So, I'm going to talk about my upcoming summer vacation. Next month, my family and I will be going to the beach. We will stay in a cozy beach house and every day, we will relax by the ocean. I'm really excited because we are planning to try out various water sports like surfing and snorkeling. In the evenings, we'll have delicious seafood dinners at the local restaurants. It will be a fantastic getaway and I can't wait for it. Great job, Jesse. Now, let's hear from Tom. Tom, share a topic or story using the simple future tense. Good morning, everyone. I want to talk about my future career plans. After I graduate from college, I will pursue a career in computer science. I plan to work for a tech company and develop innovative software. I hope to contribute to the field by creating solutions that make people's lives easier. In the next few years, I will also consider pursuing a master's degree to further specialize in my field. I'm confident that my hard work and dedication will lead me to a successful and fulfilling career. Excellent, Tom. Using the simple future tense helps us envision and express plans or events that are yet to happen. Now, let's continue with other students who would like to share their stories or topics in the simple future tense. Let's hear from Ashley next. Good morning, everyone. I'd like to talk about a dream I have for the future. In the coming years, I will travel to different countries and experience diverse cultures. I plan to volunteer in various communities, helping those in need. By doing this, I hope to broaden my perspective and make a positive impact on the world. After my volunteering experiences, I will pursue a career that allows me to continue contributing to social and environmental causes. I believe that by taking these steps, I can create a meaningful and fulfilling life. Well done, Emily. Sharing your aspirations using this simple future tense allows us to see the potential for positive change in your future endeavors. Let's have one more student share their story. How about you, Alex? Good morning, everyone. I'd like to share a story about a project I plan to work on. In the upcoming months, I will start a community garden in our neighborhood. I believe it will bring people together and promote sustainable living. I'll organize workshops to teach residents about gardening and encourage them to grow their own fruits and vegetables. By next year, I hope our community will have a vibrant and thriving garden that everyone can enjoy. It's an exciting project, and I'm looking forward to making our neighborhood greener. Fantastic. Alex, using the simple future tense, you've painted a vivid picture of a community project that will positively impact those around you. Well done, everyone. Remember, Practicing the simple future tense helps us communicate our plans and dreams effectively. Keep up the good work. Now, let's take a moment to review the simple future tense that we've been using in our stories and discussions. In English, the simple future tense is used to express actions or events that will occur at a later time, indicating a future point in time. We often use specific words for phrases to convey this sense of future time such as will or shall. Here are the basic structures for the simple future tense. Affirmative form. Subject plus will plus base form of the verb plus additional information. Example, I will travel to Europe next summer. Negative form. Subject plus will not plus base form of the verb plus additional information. Example, she will not attend the meeting tomorrow. Interrogative has two form. First one. 
WH words plus will plus subject plus base form of the verb plus additional information. Example, where will they go for vacation? And second has no WH words. Will plus subject plus base form of the verb plus additional information. Example, will they go for vacation? Here, in second types of interrogative form, will is placed at the beginning of the sentence, followed by the subject and the base form of the verb. This structure is straightforward and commonly used to ask yes or no questions about future actions. Interrogative negative also has two forms. First one which start with WH words. WH word plus will plus not plus subject, plus base form of the verb, plus additional information. Example, why will she not attend the meeting? Now the second structure with will. Will, plus not, plus subject, plus base form of the verb, plus additional information. In these sentences, not is placed after will. To create the negative form, and the rest of the structure is the same as the interrogative structure with will. It's important to note that shall can also be used instead of will, especially in formal or British English contexts. Additionally, we can use contractions like I'll, for I will and won't, for will not. Now, let's practice forming sentences in the simple future tense. I'll give you a sentence and I want you to change it to the simple future tense and comment below. Here is sentence, she goes to the gym every day. Please convert this sentence to the simple future tense.